Hi, and welcome to 12SDD, uh, option 2, lesson 12, simplifying Boolean logic. Here are the dot points, pause if you'd like to read them. So there are two ways to simplify a logic circuit. We can do the maths way or the non-maths way, and we'll go through both methods. To do the maths way, first you need to know the laws of Boolean algebra. So you can pause the video and you can learn these as you go. Now we know the laws, we can simplify an expression. So we're going to use this expression here, a b, sorry, a not b c plus a b not c plus a b c. So to simplify this expression, we first look to see what laws we can use. And we can see straight up we've got two common terms here. We've got a b here, we've got a b here. And so law 12a says that if we have um, a and A common, we can pull those out and we can factor them. So what we've done here. Okay, so we've got A not B C plus A B uh, not C plus C. We can simplify this bit further because something plus the knotted version of itself is 1. So we've got A B 1. And this simplifies to A B because something times 1 equals the original something. So now we realize we've got a common to both, and so we can do this, which again is 12a, and then we've got b not c plus b. So this is a weird law over here, okay? a plus the knotted version of a and something equals a and b. So b plus the knotted version of something and something else equals b plus c. And then we just expand that, using this law again, and we've got AB plus AC. So to simplify without maths, we use a Carnot map or a K map, and we need to start with a truth table. Um, as an example, we use the same Boolean representation as before, and the truth table for this is on the right. Okay, so A not B, C, A not B, C is one, A, B not C, A, B not C is one, and A, B, C is one. So, draw a K-map, we use a rectangle or a square shape, and we put all possible values for inputs across the top and the sides of the table, dividing evenly as possible the number of inputs we have. So here I've got A of 0 and 1, because a single input can only have two values, and here I've got BC. Now we write this in an interesting way. We write it so that we're only changing one variable at a time. So we've got 0, 0, and we write 0, 1, because here, B doesn't change. So we've got 0 and 0. C does 0 and 1 because these numbers all relate to these inputs obviously. So from 0, 1, we, again we only want to change one variable. So we don't go to 1, 0, we go to 1, 1 because here B changes but C remains the same. And over here, again, only one variable changes. 1 to 1, so B is the same again and C changes. So you have to write it in this way. It's a little bit different, but just so you remember, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so now we start to fill in the results. As there are less 1s on the table, we'll start with those first. So we've got the 1 here, and that becomes a 1 here, because this is saying 1, 0, 1. So an A is 1, B is 0, and C is 1. That's that spot there. Now we look at the next one, 1, 1, 0, when A is 1, when B is 1, and when C is 0, and we get that one. And then the last one, 1, 1, 1, when A is 1, when B is 1, when C is 1. So that's our table. And now we fill the rest with zeros. And so now what we're looking for are groups where 1s are the same. Okay. However, we can only make squares or rectangles. The number of items in a square or rectangle must be a power of 2. So we can have 2 in a group, 4 in a group, 8 in a group, 6 in a group, etc. Because 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, sorry, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of, six, uh, to the power of 4 is 16, and so on. Okay, And you can overlap groups to get every number. You can also wrap around the table as well. So... Um, we can go from this one to this one because that wraps around that way. Okay, and we can wrap up and down as well. All right. So, 
we've notified, uh, we've looked at two groups here. So we've got the blue group, which is these two, because two is um, a power of two. And then we've got the green group, because again, two is a power of two. We can't do two and one, it just doesn't work very well. Okay, so um, we'll take the green group first, and here's the green. And we want to write down the variables that stay the same. Okay, so in green group, A is the same, because one doesn't change in this row. Okay, and C stays the same. So we can see up here, C is one, C is one, B is zero, and B is one. So C stays the same here, and so we write AC. Okay. And the next one, we've got blue group, okay, both A and B are the same. So again, we're on the A row, so everything on this row is A. And then up here, B is 1 and B is 1. So B doesn't change. So we're going to write AB. And so we've got AC plus AB, which if you remember, is exactly what we had before. 